three items off the list, that's a good day. What do you think, Ted Corgi? You think it's a bit warm and you'd rather go inside and eat another Zupa Dupa? Yeah? Alright. So, I'm going to do the exhaust mount on the side of the chassis. I'm going to put in the catches for the bonnet and I'm going to repair the drift brake because I need to cut the bolts out and put captive nuts in instead. I'll start with that. In case you're wondering about all the mess, it's because I'm hot lapping this at the moment. I'm filming one and a half to two episodes a day just to try and keep up with the Febby Daily Challenge. It's great fun. So what I've got to try and do is cut off these two bolt heads, which I kind of welded on. Luckily, I've got a cutter. Alrighty then. Now it comes out. So, this hole is very close to the edge. So what I think I'm going to do is drill these holes out a little bit bigger, try to elongate them to the end, and then weld the nuts in without having to cut the edge off it, because that doesn't always work well. Die grinder time. Yeah, there's plenty of space for that to go through. So I've got both holes elongated. I'll just bolt the master cylinder back in. And if it's in the right spot, then I'll just tack these nuts. I'm going to have to shorten this bolt when it's got the body skin on there, but it'll be alright for now. So I'll tack them in, and then we can go on to the next thing. That's got quite a bit of heat in it now from those four tack welds, which is why I pulled it out. I found these little stainless over center catches. Yeah. They look about half the size of the ones that they have on the on the real things. So I'm thinking I'll make a couple of plates, bits of angle that come up and down, so I can drill some rivet holes in them. And then when the body skin goes over, I'll drill the rivet holes from the inside out, and then these will rivet over the body skin after it's painted. So, a couple more little angle brackets. They don't really need to be too big, so I'll see what I can find.
just like that. To get the holes in the bottom, first we have to mount the top half. So I'm just going to screw this in with some metal screws. You can't just drop it like that and drill the holes there because it will never actually get tight. What you've got to do is open the over center catch a little bit and then you can mark where the holes are going to be. Now that's tight and won't rattle. So, that's on. I'm happy with that. Now to the other side. catches. See so I'm over this side I might as well finish off the exhaust mount for the bracket to hold the muffler. So I gotta do there, weld another captive nut on down the bottom here and then make a bracket that'll bolt in there and then have a special shape to it so that I can put a, a big stainless clamp around the muffler itself. Well that's the plan anyway. That should do it. Now I need to make a bracket.
really like that exhaust bracket. So, that's it for another day. Got more things crossed off the list. Um, yeah, not a lot left. There's about eight things left on the list that are required before I can drive it. Fuel system and wiring are the big ones. But I also have to revisit the steering column because, well, that would not be fun trying to drive without that. Anyway, that's it for this episode. As always, customise everything.